Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna do part two of a tribute video to Seoul-based British journalist Andrew Salmon. Actually, he came to Korea not with the intention of raising awareness about the UK and the Korean War or even staying for long term. But in his interview with the podcast Korea and the World, he admits that he's a bad life planner and he went to Korea initially to study the martial art Hapkido. Hapkido is a, mar a Korean martial art that's dedicated to self-defense. And he ended up settling down in Korea. He got married and had a kid. And now he is... And now he is a journalist based in Seoul. And well, he talks about that the British soldiers relied on the Americans for artillery support and that the Americans did a good job doing that. Also, a lot of the British soldiers did like the Americans. One of the British soldiers said the Americans are good at war, that any, anything the British soldiers needed, the Americans got it for them. And at the first part of the war, the Americans supplied the British soldiers with food rations. Now, the reason that I'm saying that is for many different reasons. One of the reasons is, the main reason actually, is because that while Andrew Salmon raises awareness about the UK's contribution in the Korean War, um, he does say it is understandable that people think about the Americans first. Um, the America has you know, Hollywood, the world's largest economy, and they by far had the largest contingent force in the Korean War. He talks about the, the British soldiers and their heroic stand at Imjin River, um, but he talks about to say that these British soldiers saved South Korea. He said that's a little bit overstating the case. He says that honor go, must go to the Americans. Um, now, my personal opinion is I think the British soldiers at the Battle of Imjin River saved Seoul. I think the Canadians and the Australians' contribution to the Battle of Kapyong helped save Seoul as well, and I think the Philippines stand at the Battle of Yoldong saved Seoul. I think a lot of these other countries saved Seoul, but to say that they saved South Korea, um, they helped save South Korea. Andrew Solomon admits that the UN contingency force all saved South Korea, but to say these other countries saved South Korea, he believes that's a little bit overstating the case, that that honor must go to the Americans. Um, he does talk about how Britain's contribution in the Korean War is still largely unknown in Britain. Um, he's glad that Britain finally got a monument built dedicated to the British soldiers in the Korean War. Um, still a long ways to go, but because the UK's contribution to the Korean War is largely unknown, and he hopes to change that. So, anyways, I recommend that you go to Korea in the World and listen to his interview um, with the podcast Korea in the World. A lot of things that I just said, he he said as well. So, um, and I think to to not report the British soldiers' contributions to the Korean War accurately um, is is an insult to them, and. He didn't disrespect the Americans in his books or in his interviews, so if you use the videos that I make about the UK and the Korean War to disrespect the American soldiers who came to Korea, that no, that's not right either. I mean, it's because it's, it's not something I firmly believe that he would not want that, and I firmly believe the U U UK soldiers or the British soldiers that fought in the Korean War, I don't think they would want that either. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.